Blessed Mother, you who know so well the ways of holiness and love, teach us to raise our minds and our hearts above the Trinity, and, Trinity, and, and to fix their own our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the pale pilgrims, your charity is in your shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your billions. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble or cease, nor make us feel all of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the God's mystery. Until the day when our souls fully blossom by the light of divine union, we will see all things in eternal love and beauty. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord. And shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Amen. Let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Medivah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray. And they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. A voice from the said, this is my beloved son. Oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name, adore the Lord in his holy court. 
the Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedar. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh, the Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders, in his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. A voice from the heavens said, This is my beloved Son. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit, all wisdom is God. He plucks the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil way, <coughs> he clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both men and beasts you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evil doers fall. Long down they shall never Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If we are faithless, He remains faithful. Who shall not glorify Your name, O Lord? I give you thanks, O Lord, though you've been angry with me, 
Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and save on that day. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing, Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the heart, with a dance string lute sing him songs. Oh, sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is able, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean. He stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. All who live in the world revere Him. He spoke and it came to be. He commanded it sprang into be. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, <clears throat> the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vein of for safety is the Lord. Despite its power, it cannot say. The Lord looks on those who revere Him, on those who hope in His love. To rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. And in Him do our hearts find joy, we trust in His holy name. May Your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in You. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. From the first letter of St. John. No one has ever seen God. Yet if we love one another, God dwells in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. The way we know we remain in him and he in us is that he has given us of his spirit. We have seen for ourselves and can testify that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. When anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him, and he in God. Set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship Him without fear. Holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare His way. To, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Tag Eif, hast ihn an Sechende, qui audie in domo tua opportet me manere. Adile, hast ihn an Sechende, et zu schäbidum gaudet, in Domum Sua, O die Alleluia. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, yours is the beauty of creation and the good things you have given us. Help us to begin this day joyfully in your name and to spend it in loving service of you and our fellow man. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflects the like like Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, the eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O oh, beloved we'll be disciple of the word in the flesh, who at the last supper rests in the palms of his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son, and in the Savior of all. O oh, beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus is crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our worthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the guard of the wounded heart of the God that us, under the life giving guidance of the Spirit of Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Father.